hello guys how are you uh, welcome back to my channel okay today's lesson it's based on the introduction of economics as a subject in grade 10. one may ask him or herself what is economics and why is this subject important okay we'll look at the definition of economics and then we'll also look at what is it that economics focuses on so stay tuned and please don't forget to press that subscription button. Okay, guys, what we are going to learn today, it's what we call the basic concepts of economics. All the definitions, all what it is, what it does, why should we learn economics, why is it important? We are saying all those things are the basic concepts of economics. First, let's look at the definition. It's saying... Economics is the study of how individuals, businesses, governments, and other organizations within our society chooses to use scarce resources to satisfy their unlimited needs and wants. So, you might ask yourself, why is it important for me to know this subject? Here's your answer. It is important for one to study economics because it studies or it deals with important and interest, interesting subjects such as capitalism versus socialism, management of inflation and unemployment, economic development of poor countries, pollution and many specific government policies such as the regulation of electricity, the minimum wage, cultural price support as well as rent control. So basically, we're saying that economics, it has to do with our daily lives, what is happening to us every day. So it, that is what it does. It just focuses on the things that we see every day, things that take place in our lives every day. So, so we're saying that in economics, we have limited resources, and unlimited needs and wants. So when we study economics, economics tells us that resources are limited. So we need to know how to work with them without wasting them. So this is what you should put in your mind. Okay, fine. When I learn the subject economics, I will know that resources are limited. So I must find a way of using them without wasting them. And then the other point we're saying because we cannot satisfy all our needs and wants we have to make choices about which needs to satisfy and which not we're saying we having remember as individuals or as human we are having unlimited needs and wants or else they are limited resources so whenever we have to use those limited resources which means we have to choose, make a choice of which other needs and wants are we going to forego, and then which other ones are we going to certify. So economics allows us to make those decisions. And that may lead to what we call the economic problem. How do we face economic problems? That's the question one may ask him or herself. Okay, I know that I have limited resources. And what's the problem? Because I will choose which needs and want to satisfy. But remember, that will lead to what we call the economic problem. First, we're saying the basic economic problem is scarcity. The problem arises because resources are scarce, but human wants are unlimited. We have those limited resources, which are also scarce to find. But as human, we keep on wanting more and more and more and more of things. So that leads us to the problem of scarcity. For example, let's say we are in a class, in a class of 50 learners or 40. Let's just say 40. And in a class of money, you are 40. The class ha only have 30 chairs. 
which means we can say that the class has a scarcity of chairs because we are 40 and there are only 30 chairs, which means 10 people will not have chairs. So we have a scarcity of chairs in the classroom. And the other one was saying human only have a limited amount of money, yet they have a lot of needs and wants to satisfy. It may happen that I'm only having 1,000 rand in my pocket. But I have a lot of things that I want to buy with that 1,000. And when I calculate those things, they are more than the 1,000 itself. So you can see, I have a limited amount, but I have a lot of needs and wants to satisfy. The economic problem that we have, it now leads us to what we call the economic questions. Because now we have searched that we, ha we are having this economic problem. So now the question is, how are we going to solve that economic problem? And that leads us to these three fundamental economic questions. The first one is saying, what should be produced? Here we are asking ourselves, what kind of product should be produced? And then how should it be produced now we have seen what kind of product will be produced now we're asking ourselves how are these products are going to be produced and the last one is saying for whom will it be produced after we have produced this product and then into finished goods who will buy this product who is our target and whom will it be produced for? So these are the three fundamental equations that economists are trying to answer in order to solve the economic problem of scarcity that we are facing. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more lessons. More videos will be posted in order to have for you, in order for you to have more knowledge on what is economics and why is this subject important for you to study. So please don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section and press that subscribe button. Thank you for your support guys. Thank you. Thank you.